Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today is D-Day and we are going to tackle the sunroof window. Uh, you may have seen one of my previous videos, obviously um, somehow there's been a crack in that. I'm not sure how that has occurred. There's no damage to the outside, so there's no sort of obvious reason why that's happened. And I'll show you that just in case you haven't seen it. But yeah, in this video, we're just gonna sort of go over exactly what we're gonna to do to repair that, or well, in this case, replace it. Um, this isn't a how-to, this is just how I'm gonna go about this and replace it. Um, so yeah, if you're in a bit of a dilemma and, and you're thinking you might do this, then hopefully this will give you a bit of an idea. Um, and hopefully at the end of it, we didn't get any water, but um, yeah, we'll soon see and find out. Okay, let's get cracking. So for those who haven't seen it, this was the crack that we had. It's about sort of four or five inches. And I did do a, a brief video about how I've put a temporary fix in that. And that was around drilling both ends of the crack and then just using a bit of silicon, uh, which is fine during the summer months, but obviously I don't want to sort of leave it like that over the winter. So um, yeah, the window is here. So well, yeah, we can get on and replace it. So right, I'm going to start by taking actually the inner skin out first and then cutting the outer skin. Um, and my thinking here is what obviously we want to be able to get to is the outer one where the silicon's holding the, that side to the caravan. And my thinking is by taking the inner one out, once I've cut the outer one, I can then get access from the inside to take that away um if you take this to a dealer i'm guessing they will do all this from the outside and they will have a rig that they can get to um a lot easier and i think for me that will just cause more risk and yeah i'm not on some of their steps i'm not sure why they would do it that way but hey ho they are the professionals and this is just the way i'm going to go about it so yeah, I'll uh, record what I'm going to do, but like I say, I'm going to use a multi-tool 65mm uh, blade on the end and I'm going to basically cut it here all the way along. That gets me access to this and then from the outer one will be easier, I'll then just cut it round and then I'll have access to the inner bit where the silicon is. And then hopefully I can then start working around the outside to get that um, but all from the inside and not on the outside but um, yeah let's see how this goes So yeah, that, that first bit cut through really easy, as you just saw. Um, obviously when you get to the corners, go easy, because like I say, you're not wanting to damage this surround, um, so take your time. Um, but again, this should be okay to get this middle bit out, well, sorry, this out in a bit. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but um, yeah, I'll Put it back down to record and um, hopefully this comes out easy enough. Rightio, so that is the inner bit out. And as you saw, that was pretty straight forward so far. So to get this bit out, it's the easy bit. Obviously anything above this line, yeah, it doesn't matter. But again, we'll just cut it along the edge. That'll get the outer section out. And then what we want to pay attention to is this inner bit and in there. And that'll be the harder bit where we've got to be careful that we separate the outer bit, well, the 
in this case the inner bit to here because obviously we want to get this silicon away this bit off so we can tidy up all the old silicon get that removed before we put the new window in um, but yeah let's get this outer section out next just so we can gain access to it Something else I'm just quickly going to do before I start, I'm going to put a bit of tape here and make like a, a makeshift handle here because obviously once I've cut this, unlike the inner bit, I, this bit would, just, would have stopped it, obviously this has the potential of sliding up down the caravan at the front and causing damage, so my thinking here is I'll put a, a fake handle in just in case that I've got something to grip as I get to the last section. Um, and then I can just bring that back down through into the caravan. And the good thing with this is because it is a plastic, as you cut it round, it does fuse itself in places, so it didn't actually fall out. So I'm hoping this will just voila. And in terms of mess, no, it's not that messy at all really. I've kept the cushions here because I thought it'd be easier than it falling down the back of the chairs. And I can just hoover this up. That is your new window fitted. You just got to hope it doesn't rain and uh, job done. <laughs> Not. Right. Okay, so next stage is we've got to get this outer piece off. And then, um, then we can work on the inner piece and then get that tidied up. But um, yeah, like I said, to get access to that. It's quite straightforward, what's literally taking me about 10, 10, 15 minutes if that, only because I'm stopping and filming at the same time. But um, if we get cracking, yeah, that front window will be out. But um, yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look, inspection on the outer bit, and then we'll have another look. Right, back on the inside now. So the way I'm going to do this is with a good old hammer and chisel bit which is what and I'm just gonna put it basically down here and then just gently tap all the way around and just break the seal. And again that way I think there's less chance of damaging the outer side of the frame and I think it's gonna be a lot easier than using the other tool. So uh, yeah, let's give this a try and see what happens. So since doing this top bit, and why do I think like the previous crack here happens, I think it's just this gets brittle over time because the way this is coming away is it's just pretty much snapping all the way along that. I was only sort of carrying on chiselling as I was and it was just breaking away, breaking away so 
I'm not sure what is an actual issue with this cutout not being big enough. I believe it's just a case of all these pieces is slowly going brittle over age and that's why they crack. Whether you hit something, a bump in the road, I really don't know, but I'm guessing it doesn't like getting hot, as we know with the windows on caravans in general, but yeah, I've got a suspicion it's just the windows go brittle after a while and that's the consequences. Right here. So that is the window out. And I can safely say that no caravans were harmed in the making of this video. So that's all good, no additional repairs. Now it's just a case of getting the excess sealant off and all this cleaned up. I think the only thing that was damaged was my scraper. But if you're going to get a scraper, get a metal one that comes right to the end or one that you can hit. So give it some force because again you're going to want to get through this as fast as possible if you get like a plastic end one it might not be as uh, efficient so yeah get yourself a decent scraper to cut through it but yeah no yeah, quite happy with that came away quite easily now it's the boring job getting all the excess off all right that is the majority of the sealant removed and I've given it a quick wipe down so my next approach is to sort of go in at it to get the very last bit off I'm going to try some of this and it's a case of just brushing this on and leaving it for 15-20 minutes and then that should be allowed to take that off that's the plan so we'll try it on a little area and see what it does and if it doesn't work we're back to scraping Right here, yeah. so that is the chemical that I've used on it, and it does take it off majority. So now it'll be a case of getting some of the other chemical to get the last bit off and then buff it back up before applying the window. Right here, yeah. so that. Is it all cleaned up? Let's wipe down, put the foam around the edge of the window. The other foam will go on the window itself. I'll then marry it up, get it all ready for the sealant. And yeah, no, it's come out really well. Happy with that. As always, the, the time is in the preparation, cutting the window out, getting that bit done. It's quite straightforward, and just getting rid of the silicon. And again, that sealant removal worked really well, came off as expected in the end, so that was all right. And then to finish off, I've just wiped it down with this, and again, getting the area ready to use the silicon to redo the window. Right, so this is the window been test fitted, try to line up, get it right inside. It's all looking good. So next job, stick a load of silicon inside, take the tape off the window, surround it, um, and then get it in. Right, you know, um, so this is the now the next day. I was running out of time yesterday, so um, yeah. This next stage for actually fitting the window, when you're getting silicon in it, will be a two-person job. So you'll be able to use the silicon and you'll be able to find your old marks coming down the side because they would have stained the plastic slightly so you, you have a reference to where to put them back. And again, it's just about putting the silicon back in the same place, undoing the um, foam rubber that you've put on the inside as well as on the window and then placing that in and lining it up with your marks. But the way we did this was I uh, had a friend on another ladder, so we're either side of the caravan, and then we just lifted the window into place. Because the silicon is slightly higher than the foam, 
you're able to get it roughly in place, move it slightly before pushing it right down. Um, but once you've got it in place, obviously you will need to tack it at the top so it doesn't move. Um, and also, you'll need somebody on the inside pushing up whilst you're pushing down. So again, you get this window in place where it needs to be, as well as down the bottom. And also, once you think you've got it in place, just double check the inside, the gaps that are aligned as you need. What they've changed on this now is the way they do the top. So the top line up here, they actually fill with silicon now, um, which I think is to help cracking in future um, and to try and eliminate that. There was a stage where they used to come down 50 mil as well in the corners, but I think the recommendation now is just, you just do the top. So you mask that up completely fill it, wipe the excess and then remove the masking tape and that just leaves a, a, you're basically filling the gap right at the very top, but only at the top. Um, but yeah, you definitely need two people for this bit and apply pressure from inside and outside to lock these corner bits in. Um, and the silicon we've used is this, which is the recommended product and it comes pre-cut with a nozzle out of it so again when you're running it down the marks that you can see from the existing um, again you're better just run the, the right amount down but uh, again just take your time with this bit it's making sure you get it in place before you just push down solid to get it in its final place but um, yeah like I say it is a little bit tricky in terms of doing it on your own, so you definitely need two people for this, and certainly to be able to apply the pressure from the inside whilst you're pushing a pressure from the outside. All the rest of it can be done on your own. But um, no, it's all in. It's all gone off today, so I'm really happy with that. So I'll move remove the um, bits of tape that I've used to line up where I here and here and on the corners and at the top, get all that off, clean the panel up and then I will I'll finish off by just applying this seal, seal across the top with silicone just to finish it off. And I'm guessing we'll just test it with some water uh, tomorrow once I know it's all gone off and uh, we're happy with it and then that should be it. Oh, and then yeah, we've got a bit of sticker to put back at some point but they say, just got to make sure it's all sealed correctly first. Now in terms of the inside, yep, yeah, all the gaps are back to how they were originally. And again, this is what you're checking for down here and along underneath. And for me, it was about a finger's width before. And all that's lined up perfectly. So yeah, I'm really happy with how that's gone back in. And um, I'm not sure if you can make it out, but you can see where the foam, the new stuff is in there going down. You can see where the window has attached itself to that. And underneath, again, you can just about make it out. And then you've got the top piece up here. But again, that goes all the way along. And you can touch that to see where it's attached. Right, yeah. So that is the window in place. I'm happy with all the gaps. Looks really good. As you've seen from the inside. All the gaps in there, how it's formed and bonded to the inner frame as well. Looks really good. So yeah just got to get the sticker at some point just to finish it off but um, I think we've got rain due in a couple of days so it'll be a good test for it before the end of the month but um, no, I'm pretty happy. So that is the sunroof in, I'm really pleased with how that's gone. How long would it take would I say? Um, I would say you're looking at sort of anything from three to five hours depending on how quickly you work. Obviously I was trying to film in between. Um, 
and, and again learn as I go on some of those bits. But um, yeah, I think uh, if you've watched this video and you, and you go out how I've done the recommendations, then I think you can get it done in three hours quite easily. Um, so yeah, I'd be a lot more confident in terms of uh, the process going forwards if I had to replace another one. Hopefully I don't. Um, in terms of the sealant removal, yeah, highly recommended from Screwfix. About, I think it's about four or five pounds. Again, I left it for half an hour whilst I popped to the shops. When I came back, it was just a case of, um, yeah, just getting uh, the scraper to get off any excess. It doesn't matter if you leave a little bit there in terms of residue. What you can do afterwards is then get, uh, you can get a cloth with a bit of white spirit wipe round that will take off any excess and take it back down to the, uh, the fiberglass and then once you've, you're happy that's all cleaned obviously then can then go on this is what i use the priming agent and again that was perfect again just wipe it round clean it up um, and then obviously you're then on to your actual sealant itself but um, as always Take your time, get the test fitting done right, get all the lines marked up so you know where it's going to be. Once you're happy, come into the van, make sure that looks square of where it needs to be. Um, and once you're, like I say, 100% happy with all the, the, the marks of where they are, take the window back out, remove the double-sided tape for the actual foam, obviously on the window and on the caravan, obviously they're, they're separated. You can then put your sealant on using the existing marks. And again, like you say, you put the window back into place with somebody helping you. Either side of the van is fine. I didn't have an issue with that. Gradually put it into place, get your lines marked up. And again, once you're happy, then you can then push it down into place. But it's key that you yeah, don't push it too hard. Just lightly put it in. The adhesive will bite. And again, you can then just hold it where it needs to be. Because you're not going to be a million miles out. You're only going to be like a few millimeters until you're really happy. And once you've done that, you can then push it down all around um, the actual window that you can get to. Um, and then, like I say, take somebody inside, they push out on the frame whilst you push down. But again, not excessive force because, again, you don't want to break the window that you've just put in. So it's just about taking your time uh, and getting it right. But hopefully, like I say, you've got all the information. Again, comment below if you think I'm mad for attempting it. But um, yeah, like you say, I, I thought it would be quite straightforward and it hasn't, and it has been to be fair. It's just for having that confidence about going about it. Please subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, that's the only way this is gonna grow and for me to continue to share more content with you and others. So um, we'll call it quits for today and I will see you all on the next one. Cheers all.